Linden men's first team's penultimate home game of the season came against struggling Old Lee Edge. Lindham's confidence was high after a 6-5 win against Chapel Town last week and were looking to build on their 5-3 victory against today's opponents back in December. Unlike previous weeks, the host squad was at full capacity, so they were hopeful before the game of putting in a strong performance. The game was delayed by half an hour due to traffic, but that didn't stop the away side making the better start of the two. Ian Fabry had to clear off the line early on to keep the scores at 0-0. However, it wasn't soon after that Lindham took the lead, Robert Johnston deflecting in at the back post from a penalty corner to give the home side a one-goal advantage. Lindham settled into the game well after that first goal and begun to dictate the play. It wasn't long before the lead was doubled and Johnston picked up his second with a classy shot on his reverse. The away side still managed to create chances though and keeper Matt Ward was forced into this save to keep it 2-0. But unfortunately their defence was struggling to cope with Lindham's attacking threat. Harry Swift forced his way through before slotting in to make it 3-0 to Lindham. Shortly before half time Lindham had three chances to make it 4-0. Captain Sam Temple Baxter coming closest by hitting the post in this short exchange. Like the first half, Lindham started the second slowly and were caught on the counter attack after Swift lost the ball deep in Old Lee territory. The score was reduced to 3 1 with still plenty of time to play. But again Alderley conceded in identical fashion to Lindham's first goal, with Johnston completing his hat-trick by deflecting at the back post, restoring the home side's three-goal lead. The away side got back to within two again though, with a well-worked move down the right, finished off with an impressive deflection, making the scores 4-2 with around ten minutes to go. But, as they had all afternoon, Lyndon were able to dominate possession and control the play for the final stages of the game, and they sealed the win with a goal right at the end, leaving the final score five goals to two, and Lyndon stay seventh in the table. Yeah, they came at us very quickly. They scared us in the first minute, um, and we managed to just get a grip on the game and, and sort of enforce our tactics going forward. Um, so yeah, that was that was really pleasing. You're really clinical from short corners as well today, which maybe in the last few weeks you haven't quite been. Correct. Yeah, yeah. I think they made a, well, they did make a difference. Uh, their real discipline uh, also cost them, and I think we managed to capitalise on that. So that's two wins in two now for Lindham after a 6-5 win over Chapel Town last week. They took the lead after 10 minutes and they dominated the game after that really. Rob Johnson scoring that brilliant hat-trick to help Lindham to all three points. They'll travel away to Newcastle University next week looking to make it three wins in three games. Elliot Dalton, LSA Sport, Lindham Hockey Club.